Today was the first time we're hearing from the attorneys for the man who was involved in a highway confrontation and shooting with an off-duty police officer. Fort Worth officer William Martin was in his personal vehicle when police say he confronted and shot Samuel Christopher on September 3rd. Fox Source Dion Anglin has more from Fort Worth. Dion. Hi there, Clarice. That is exactly right. We are hearing more now about the incident that has a Fort Worth police officer facing criminal charges for his off-duty actions. The attorneys for the man who was injured are telling his side of the story. Officer Martin, while out of uniform and driving his personal vehicle, cut in front of Mr. Christopher in the far left lane of southbound I-35W during rush hour. Attorney Doug Hafer released this photo of the truck his client, Samuel Christopher, was driving on September 3rd when he was injured during a traffic shooting with off-duty Fort Worth police officer William Martin. After the Fort Worth PD Major Case Unit investigated, Martin was charged with aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. Officer Martin got out of his vehicle and immediately advanced towards the driver's side of Mr. Christopher's vehicle while pointing a weapon at him. Officer Martin did not display a badge or otherwise identify himself as a law enforcement officer. There was no way for Samuel Christopher to know that the person pointing a weapon at him was a Fort Worth police officer. The attorney's on-camera statement with no opportunity for follow-up questions summarizes Christopher's account of what happened. It is consistent with information in the arrest warrant affidavit for Officer Martin, where police say 14 witnesses told investigators they saw Martin chasing Mr. Christopher and thought it was a road rage incident. They saw Mr. Martin exit his vehicle with a handgun in his hand and go over to the driver's side of Mr. Christopher's vehicle. They saw Mr. Martin fire his handgun into Mr. Christopher's vehicle. Martin told investigators it was Christopher who was the aggressor, starting with a hit and run that struck Martin's personal car. The officer explaining he pursued Christopher after perceiving him to be a threat to public safety. In response to the affidavit, Officer Martin's attorney insisted the outcome of the police investigation defied logic and believability, including the claim that Mr. Christopher did not know he had hit Officer Martin's vehicle and was not fleeing the scene of an accident. As the case moves forward, Martin maintains his innocence, insisting Christopher struck his vehicle, then threatened the lives of other motorists. Christopher's attorneys describe a very different scenario, particularly the final encounter between the two. Mr. Christopher remained in his vehicle while Officer Martin continued toward his pickup truck from Mr. Christopher's left side. Fearing for his life, Mr. Christopher turned his vehicle to the right to drive away from Officer Martin. It was then that Officer Martin opened fire as Mr. Christopher was moving away from and never towards Officer Martin. William Martin remains free on bond as this case moves forward.